Hey guys, Miniwrack25 here, and today we're going to be beating Bowser's Fury without touching blue. Now, we're going to be trying to get all 100 cat shines, and I won't be editing that much so you can see all of the gameplay. Now, what I'm worried about is the water. Now, you have to get five cat shines before unlocking Plessing, which will, ab which will allow you to travel on water without getting without having to swim in it, meaning that you won't really be touching it. Sorry about that. Now, although it looks like there's a bit, lots of blue on the floor, that's only because of the darkness and the lighting. Um, so although it looks like I'm touching blue, when you visit this place later on in the game, there is no blue, so you're all so there's no blue in this first area. You can easily make it. And get the first cat shrine. So that one is really easy in First Step Island. Also, if you're wondering why the camera's not that great, it's because I'm having to record on a phone. So yeah, as you can see here, all that nice blue, lovely water. And as we get later on to that game, in the game, the black ink goes away, and more fresh, filtered water appears. So, what you start off with, you can do just a long jump to get onto this island, and a run up jump and roll to get to Bowser Jr. Now we're going to set this guy onto none because there are a few blue enemies in this game and he can be, he might be a real pain. Now as we go on to our fir first island, Scamper Shores, we're going to try, the cog doors have blue eyes so you're not going to be defeating them and they've got a blue body so we're going to be defeating them. Now let's get the first clap shine, just climb up here and jump off, be careful, it's actually that's actually really easy but Please do be careful with the wall textures because those are bluish rocks. I wouldn't touch them just to be on the safe side. Oh my god. I am very sorry about this by the way guys. I keep taking forever. Now, once you've done that really easy jump, climb up on here. Now I'm just going to climb up jump off to get the cat shine. Now dodge that blue kitten and just go down here to get this, the third one. Now the fourth one we're going to have to get later because it's on an island, that island specifically. Bowser Jr. does not like to get in there. It is possible but very curious um, And that one you just climb up these done and then yeah we've got our first cat shine make the lighthouse shine in scamper shores that only took three minutes and 45 seconds <laughs> right so um to get this next one i think it will be easiest to do a cat like using the cat suit but i really actually don't know Anyway, to get to the Lakeland Gigabelt, just do a cat dive from the top, that's the only way to do it. You could bounce off those cheap cheeps, but that is very annoying to do. This means that we now have access to Pounce Bounce Isle, and yeah. That's a quite a bit of blue. And since we can't really go on the walls, blue, uh, water, blue. You might think that we can't really do much in this stage. Maybe I thought climbing up here could help out. Maybe. And maybe we could climb over there. But 
that a ruin is. It's just the walls are they have a hint of blue. I don't know, but I don't want to risk it. So instead of going there, let's go over to Pounce Bounce Isle. Or maybe not. Now, this is actually really quite hard, but maybe if we go back to Scamper Shores, there could be something else. There could be like another shine. Yeah, there sure is, but if we can make it. Okay. I was actually really struggling with ideas at this point. And I couldn't get to any of the following islands, so. I was sort of stuck. Now, I don't, I think that is actually, there are some grey bits on there. Um, that's blue. Oh, great. And I just realised, as Bowser was starting to come. Plus, I just, I tried to bounce off Bowser Jr., but he can be really annoying. He never stays where you want to. There. There, stay. No. And anyway, I was in the water, so. Sorry. Just realised that. Now, Bowser can break Fury blocks, so. But he can also make platforms appear. So we were event we were able to reach Fort Flap Trap. Thanks, to Bowser's platforms. This is going to be a main way of manoeuvring around here. Since we're only allowed to touch the red side, this might be a little bit harder. And since we have to defeat the bullies, well, that's pretty easy though. Because, just jump on a red platform, make them go on it, and boom. This is actually pretty easy, and I was pretty worried about this um, area. So yeah, just repeat that for all of them. And even Bowser can kill the bullies. Which happened in my playthrough and it just made my playthrough even easier. So now that we have three cat shines, we're making we're slowly making some progress. So I was thinking, what about if we got the sh cat shards in this kingdom? And there's one back here. Um, there's one up this tree. Oh my, no! And what you just want to do is twist around so you won't go in the water. There's one behind a set of trees here. Um, roll in here or use the cat. I don't want to use the one for my inventory, so I just rolled. Um, and there's another one. Is there one up here? I'll just find it for you. And it's on the blue platform. Yeah. Bowser Jr. isn't us, and anyway, he didn't even touch the platform, so that's cool. So, I'm just going to wait for Bowser to appear or something, so we can get our next, so we can blast a few. After five, about five minutes, Bowser finally came down. Now we have to do, just stand by the Fury blocks until they glow and then Bowser's going to blow them up. And then, then you basically get a free cat shrine. These are located in the kingdom just like the five cat shrine shards. Cat shrine shards, cat shrines. Let's do that. Boom. Now we have unlocked Plessy. Oh, and but first we need to battle Bowser. So yeah. And guess what? We have to wait for him again. So I was thinking maybe another challenge should spawn. But it doesn't look like it has, so we might just have to leave him re enter. Am I just gonna go out? No, there's nothing more. There's nothing new. I 
And anyway, we've got to get back there, so we I've just basically got to wait for Bowser. I'll see you when he comes back. Hey guys, Bowser's out. So basically what we want to do is get to the Giga Bowl. Okay? So we just got to hope that Bowser's platforms land directly in front of us. Well, basically just make a platform. Oh my god. So once you get to the Giga Bell, even though it is possible without touching water, even though I didn't touch water, now we have to fight Bowser. Now it's a really quick fight. Um, and we're going to end the episode off here once we've done the fight because we don't really have that much time. So here we go. Now, there are several ways that you can beat this boss. You can throw stuff at him, but he hasn't done that yet. Oh, bro. The ink makes you go super slow. And plus, one thing about Plessy once you unlock is you can't go underwater to get like extra speed and stuff. So I think he's almost done. Because in the first fight, it's really easy. Even though I'm taking damage, it's only because I just want to get this boss open and done with. in the stomach now that's going to be the end of this episode today we've unlocked several new islands such as slip skate slope um claw swipe coliseum and crisp wine castle and also the lakeside gigabell plus plessy never knew plessy spoke so yeah Next time we'll be going up to 10 to 15 cat shrines um, and basically doing another fight. That's how we're going to split it down in. Sorry that was a quick episode. Like and subscribe and just watch videos. See you in the next one. Bye.